Peggy, 18. September 15th, 1916. The bloody Battle of the Somme still raged on. 206,000 British soldiers would lose their lives there. Freddy was commissioned to drive the newest weapon of war, a major progress in a conflict that was literally stuck in the mud. But Baron von Dorf was also counting on this battle to shine in front of his superiors. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of Valiant Hearts here on Not Your Professional Walkthroughs channel with me, your host. Well, on today's episode, we will deal with the Battle of the Somme, where Freddy will be actually driving a goddamn tank, believe it or not, so this will be fun thing. However, since we are getting close to the end of the third chapter, I will be cutting the content a bit weirdly here in order to make the third chapter end on the other episode, and therefore... Uh, we will see how it works so that I have some sort of structure in the content which I'm putting out on the channel. But anyhow, let's just hop into the tank. And this will be the Mark 1 tank. I'm not sure if this is the female or the male variant. But, uh, uh, how do I get in? Okay. So, when it comes to the Battle of the Somme, you are basically using the cannon to shoot at any up-and-coming enemies. Now, besides the tank, you can see a small squadron that will be trying to survive as we push through the enemy lines. Now, there is actually a secret achievement, which you can get when you first time play through this game. Or any other time, it's just, you need to make sure all the men will survive unharmed. If you manage to do that and pull that off, you will get the achievement. Now, because I already did try to upload the content on the channel, but everything got demonetized, I did manage to get uh, the men across safely and without the being harmed. It's just I'm not really sure if I will be able to showcase that achievement. But I will definitely try to make sure that they will all survive. Now we will be dealing with lots of enemies here, surprisingly enough. From all the biplanes to artillery to sort of structures that are in our way. The key to succeeding in this mission is usually to just keep your gun pointed upwards. And whenever you get notification that the biplanes are coming in, just try to get into a place like this and the soldiers will basically signal to you that the enemy planes are moving in to attack us. So far so good, I don't think we have lost any of our men. But then again, I was never really that great at math, so... Just keep shooting down the planes. It's so much easier in here to shoot down a plane compared to like War Thunder, where if you try to shoot down a plane with a tank, it's much more difficult. I did manage to get it done like once or twice, but man, was it difficult. So far, so good. I'm actually surprised that the tank was able to go across that damn small bridge there. Now, unfortunately, the tank got damaged here, but this is one of the first stops which we will experience during the battle. And this is where most of the collectibles we will be able to come across. So, when it comes to the collectibles, yet again, I will try to pick up all of them. Now, the Battle of the Somme has probably the least amount of all of them. 
And I really hope that I did not manage to screw up somehow and forget to pick up one or two. So here by the base of the tank is the first one, that is the Valiant Stories Contest Memorabilia. To me it however looks like some sort of map, but what do I know? Then the other one will be down here, but because the German soldier is trying to blow us up, you need to run off here. Uh, kill the fuse so that all this dynamite will not blow up. And what you need to do is where the German soldier used to stand, you come here and you pick up the second collectible of this mission. And then there is one more, which I hopefully did not miss because that would be really, really awkward. Really awkward. Okay, so is the... Hold on, I'm just checking the notes because... The collectibles in this mission are like, okay, it's, so it's right here at the base, it's almost impossible to notice, so I, I was like looking at the notes and I'm like, I'm missing the Anzac Identificational Disc, and here it was, all the same time. Okay, so we are gonna have to do some puzzling once again, so I think we need to throw the grenade somewhere around here. It should make the platform explode, Freddy will be able to crawl over this thing. We will then push the crate over to the concrete wall here. And once we climb on top, Freddy should be able to throw a grenade into the machine gun nest. And now we should be able to hop into the same tank which got damaged before. Or did they steal our tank and... Oh no, they, that was another squadron with a tank. So okay, we'll just hop into the tank. No, actually we are getting a brand new one. That one is totally busted. Or is it? Which, which tank can I drive this time? Guys, come on, this is not funny, this is supposed to go on the YouTube channel. I'm starting to look like a total dumbass here. Okay. So as I talked about the achievement of you protecting the man, uh, I think it's not at this point where you can potentially get it, because you still have to protect the squadron of another man. So here I had to shoot into this bunker because there was an artillery piece and that can potentially damage the tank. I need to adjust the angle. I really don't want to lose any of my men. But yeah, if you manage to get all the men across safely through the Battle of the Somme to the final stage, that is where you will be able to receive that achievement. But I feel like something epic is about to happen, so how about I just shut up and we will see what will happen.
After too many missteps and too many battles lost, Baron von Dorf was demoted and moved far from the front lines. For him, a fate worse than death. January 18th, 1917. Emil, still bedridden, beseeched Anna to travel to San Miel to find his daughter and share the sad news of Carl's death. Anna set off immediately. So we will continue the episode here as Carl. Now he is 40 kilometers away from San Miel, his hometown where he used to be with Emil. Now we were able to escape the entire French battalion which was chasing after us, but there are still some police officers who might potentially arrest us. And because we have the prisoner of war outfit for the German soldier or the German uniform, we really need to be careful here. So in the background there, you can see some girl and it looks like there are some dogs or something which is preventing her from getting down. We'll need to hide here from the officers. As the lady is reporting her missing daughter, we will go back. We'll try to grab the stick, and if I recall correctly, we need to try and chase the dog's way. When that happens, the girl is able to safely get off. And because she is able to return home, the officers will leave. Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup. Allez. You good dog, man. No. Now the officers are looking for us, but here's the thing, there are multiple collectibles spread out for this mission. Now usually people will go right here to the ladder and that is okay, but then you are missing out on this collectible. So definitely make sure to pick up the phonograph. We are gonna try to escape through the upper floor. So once we get here, we should be able to climb down like so. And because the officers are looking for a German POW, once we switch the uniform, we are no longer gonna be well, caught by the officers, although I'm not really sure how changing the clothes would do the thing, because they can obviously stop us. Also, it's kind of dangerous to approach a horse from behind, but what do I know? So now that we have this different uniform, we are able to move on. Now, I'm not really sure if here is hidden collectible but hold on let me consult with the notes just to make sure because we are trying to go for all of them after all and it would be quite a shame if I would miss out on something but no it looks like it's all I just wanted to make sure so let us continue exhausted starving Carl realized he'd never reach San Miel, his strength fading. Destiny still had one more surprise in store. They were only about 20 miles from San Miel when their hopes were again dashed. Yeah. 
So Anna still relying on the taxi back from Paris, from the city of Paris, which she picked up. Unfortunately, it did break down, and here is where the rest of the collectibles will be, and also where we will cut off this episode. Now, I hope you did enjoy it. After all, we did cover the Battle of the Sum, and overall, uh, we have still quite a lot to do, so yeah. I really hope you did enjoy it. On the next episode, we will continue to finish off the third chapter and we are gonna start to get to the nitty gritty and more sad part of the story eventually so consider subscribing to the channel so you know when that will be uploaded and I will see you in the comment section or at the next one thank you for watching stay safe have fun and bye bye